Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's April 30th, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A double standard is being revealed among fact checkers during Joe Biden's State of the Union address. CNN fact checker Daniel Dale was generous in his analysis of Biden's Wednesday night speech, extending graces to the president not given to Trump. Now, where Biden was false a couple of times was when he ad-libbed. And Wolf, this is a bit of a problem with President Biden. He's given a solidly, solidly researched text, and then he decides to start, you know, Joe Biden talking, and he sometimes gets himself in some fact-check trouble. Over in Texas, bishops are praising a bill intended to strengthen marriages. On Tuesday, State Representative Matt Krause of Fort Worth was lauded by the Texas Catholic Conference of Bishops for introducing HB 3190, which extends the wait time for most no-fault divorces to six months. The Texas bishops call it an incremental improvement in protecting the permanency of marriage in families with children. In Rome, Pope Francis is cracking down on corruption in the Holy See. After the McCarrick investigation exposed the predator's practice of bribing Vatican cardinals with cash gifts, the pontiff issued a new law yesterday. It will no longer accept personal gifts valued over 40 euros. It's about $50. Quote, the Holy See, in adhering to the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, has decided to comply with the best practices to prevent and combat corruption in its various forms. In the UK, a Protestant pastor is under arrest for preaching against homosexuality. In a video released Tuesday, Methodist pastor John Sherwood is seen being physically restrained by police who claimed he was causing alarm and distress by citing verses from the Bible. For a man preaching about Christianity, Moving to Canada, Catholic schools are defying one school board's decision to ditch pro-gay flags. Over the course of the week, all nine Catholic schools in Ontario's Halton Catholic School District plastered rainbow flags on their social media profiles. The move comes in response to a Tuesday vote by the school board electing not to allow gay pride banners to be flown in honor of LGBT Pride Month in June, in keeping with Catholic teaching. And in Ecuador, a major loss for the pro-life movement as more abortions are now permitted. In a 7-2 decision by the nation's constitutional court Wednesday, abortion has been fully decriminalized in cases of rape. Before the ruling, Ecuadorian bishops wrote a letter to the court reminding them that the crime of rape is not solved with another crime of abortion. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about bishops pushing vaccines. God bless you.